now then, welcome back to another episode of Avant. It doesn't got the same ring to it as Avant. Avant. Avant God. Avant. Avant. Avant 3. Avant 3. Could it be Avant 3? Avant 3. Yes, I'm hyped for another episode, folks. Welcome back to Avant 3 on the FTOG server. I have just been doing some stuff. I've been doing lots of building. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but a, a slightly unplanned, unscheduled episode because I have found some bloody cobblestone from Evilcraft, which means there is a spawner close by. I've been looking for a spawner for ages. I've been exploring and I've been lighting places up and I've been doing stuff. Uh, it looks like it might be a spider spawner, judging by that. Uh, but it is an evil craft thing. It is an evil craft thing. Um, I've, I was looking for iron. I was looking for iron. I was looking for ways to make iron. I had run low on iron and I decided I would just come out and get some iron. Because what I planned to do for this episode required me to get a load of iron. So I was going to get a load of iron. And uh, let me just smelt this iron that I've got here. Um, I wanted the iron. I needed the iron. And now I'm not sure that I'm going to use the iron. So, well, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll smelt it up. We'll take this six that I've got here up to the other small stack that I've got. I've been digging around for a fair bit. I've been doing a lot of mining there, just branch mining with my 3x3. Three three, trying to uh, get the iron together to do what I want to do. The next mod in the pack that I want to look at. Does this run out again? Uh, needs more power. Okay, do we have charcoal now? We have a lot of charcoal now. Uh, can I put anything in here these days? Yeah, I can put some graphite dust in there. Why not? Uh, and then put the... Charcoal in there. That should keep it running for a bit longer. I've upgraded it only slightly just to give it an RF instead and uh, an output here. It's uh, it's doing very well. It's doing okay. Um, actually, uh, no, no, no. It's all right. I'll do that in a bit. Uh, <laughs> I just thought of something else that I wanted to do. There's so many things in this pack. There's so many cool mods that I want to play around with and try out. And I'm having to resist. Um, there are two reasons, no, maybe three reasons why I'm trying to resist, uh, but I will explain that in a bit. Let's first of all go, let's first of all get through a door. I hate pressure plates and doors. I don't know why I do it to myself. Let's get up here. Let's go sit down on my bed and go to sleep. Okay. So let me just quickly show you this and then we'll talk about, uh, why certain things can't be done yet. Why certain things can't be done yet. I've, I've made my warehouse. So we're going to have a look at that first. Because I was making the warehouse prior, 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 prior to uh, getting on with today's episode. Well, not even today's episode. Tomorrow's episode it is now, I guess. Because this is, this is an opportunity to make an episode. So I'm doing that today as a bonus for you. But check out the warehouse. This is my interpretation of a warehouse. Uh, it's kind of cool. I like it. I think it looks okay. It's very simplistic at the minute. At the minute, it's very simplistic. Um, it is a uh, half slabbed roof. Nice and simple. But I like the curvature of the roof. It feels like one of those uh, warehouses. And the, the beams holding it up feels like um, metal pillars. Which is good because they're from the chisel mod. They are factory blocks. I was going to use factory blocks in a lot of things. And then we've got a little marble doorway and lots of basalt again. I like my basalt. But I did have to do a lot of mining to get all this basalt. Uh, and I've got some setup here of potential storage options for things in the warehouse. Now the warehouse is planned to be uh, a bookshe warehouse. Which is in army terms freebies. Uh, bookshe for free for free bookshe that kind of stuff so people can come and drop off things and pick up things that they don't want so that, no they can pick up they can drop off things that they don't want and pick up things that they do want in kind of like an exchange for free and if they just need some stuff then they can come and get it 
So there'll be all sorts of things that I'm going to set up here. Uh, but over this side of the factory is kind of like the office and living quarters. So upstairs, I've got the living quarters and I've put this little tight staircase down the side here. I'm planning on putting some railing up here uh, for that inner warehouse thing. And I've got my own private like bedroom chamber where I'm going to store things that are like tools and equipment and guides and things that I'm going to use myself from time to time. So I'll put those golden leggings in there because, you know, I'm probably not going to need them just for a while, but I might wake up after a death in that bed and need a bit of armour, so it's there. Uh, armour stands and bookcases and all those kind of things I'll put in there. My personal possessions I'll put in there. Uh, and then I'm going to have this little lean-to here, uh, which is going to be a kind of like a purchase site, so people can purchase things that I am selling. So that's going to be like the sales counter, and then this is my office. And inside my office, I'm going to have all my crafting and storage of things that I want to keep for myself. Whereas out there, I will put storage for all the random things and all the, the like mundane things that everybody gets tons of. Like your cobble and your dirt and your different stone types and all that. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is the inside. I kind of like it. But it does mean that I've still got to fill it all up, which is okay. I was going to start filling it up with certain things today. Uh, but now, I'm just going to get my inventory cleared a little bit. Uh, let's get rid of all of that. And I will take a stack of that. I've got some more iron there. That's good. Uh, and I've got a little chest out here that is just basically a dump chest for random things that I'm not really using. Uh, which... Currently, currently, all of that has another place. I've got my hostile mob drops place, which should be overflowing by the end of this left episode, let's hope, because we're going to have that spider place. I don't know exactly whether it's a spider place, but I suspect that it is a spider place. Let's throw those bloody cobblestone in there. Uh, and the rest of the stuff, the iron goes in there. That gives me a stack and a bit. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all, and I'll throw some of this stuff away in there, out the way. There we go, and I'll keep that and that for making more torches, which I will do immediately, because we're going back down into there. Uh, I'm going to need a decent pick. Now, I'm down to my last one diamond. I don't know how I've managed to use up all of my diamonds, but I guess it's been for useful things. I've lost my diamond pickaxe. Not because, um, not because of losing it, but because I've actually used it all up. So, yeah, that's that. And I've been using my axe as a weapon. I still need to make the tinker's tools for it all. But for right now... Oh, there was another bit. There's another bit to show you. I'd started hollowing this level out, which is a couple of blocks underneath the floor of the warehouse. Just so that I can have some machines that are automating resource gathering and pumping them up into the freebie warehouse. Um, I don't want to do too much um, too much automation. But I want to do just some, some nice basic automation. Just so that uh, people can get what they want. 32, that's not too bad. Yeah, we're okay. I might have enough for the, the next episode that I planned anyway. Uh, but right now, we've got to take on this... Uh, spawner. Yeah, take on this spawner. Now, spawners are a funny thing, aren't they? Uh huh. There it is. There's four spawners in this. I don't know exactly what is spawning, but there's four spawners in this place. Uh, there's chests as well with lots of condensed blood from Evil Craft and an apple. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. Okay, well, managed to get one torch down. Now we'll see if we can work our way around and put place some other torches about. Uh, I want to keep it as simple as I can, but at the same time, this is in spawn, so I may as well try and make something of an XP farm for everybody uh, from these mobs. Oh, and some more iron, just what I was looking for anyway. Uh, let's go bang. And what do we got? Can light that one up there and on the side there as well. Good, good. Oh man, this is easy. The last time I encountered one of these things, it took me quite a long time to actually 
uh, secure it because it was overflowing with mobs. Uh huh. Let's see how we're doing here. This is a water source block, and it goes up to that. Okay, so we'll block that off. We'll block that off. And that's that section good. Okay, I don't want to go exploring down there just at the minute, but we'll just make sure it's lit. And to give me a little extra help. Oh, actually, it doesn't look too bad down there, does it? It's more lava. More lava, lava, lava. And things. Stuff and things, stuff and things. And uh, mushroom from Botania. So, okay, that shouldn't be anything creeping up on me from down there. But just in case, I shall make this too high for them to be able to do it. Okay, and... I know I've got water flowing over there, so let's try around the other side of it. Uh, that is another section that I've got to be careful of. Can I put a torch up there? Yes, I can. Okay, and there we go. Cleared that bit. Smack this about a bit. I should not have opened that up quite so much. Um, well, <laughs> at the minute, I'm, I'm fairly happy with the progress. I just need to actually get up there. It would be nice. There's water up there as well. Getcha. Get you, Spidey. Getcha. And can I... Can I... Can I no, I can't get into there like that. Okay. Fine. Let's... Let's not worry about that. Then. Let's, let's see about another way in so it's obviously very open there's a thing it's very open at the minute but if I can kill the mobs that have been spawning then I should be able to light the rest of it up I've lit the majority of it up already haven't I because I've put a fair few a fair few things there seems like I've definitely got a zombie spawner that's for sure and you Come on, back down here, you. Oh, it looks like it's in the middle of a cave system, though. All right, well, we can uh, kind of deal with that a little bit. I really would like to uh, get up on that level now. But at the same time, I want to keep it well lit. There we go. So we've got kind of a leather farm, a string farm, and a zombie flesh farm. Whoa. How did you figure out how to get down? You you came down from around here somewhere. Did you come... You didn't come through there. You tracked me all the way down, did you? Where uh, where did you come from? So you must have come from up here. You must have found a way through this section. Uh, I, I thought I'd set this up so you couldn't get through. Must have z zombie tracking is excellent. Must have zomb zombie tracked me all the way around here. Uh, yeah, it must have come down this water side. Yeah, that, yeah. Looks like this is where the water comes down to. Well, let's take care of it then. Oh, I think I got a cobweb off that one. Cool. You get cobwebs off now as well. Awesome. All right, let's block this off. Make sure it's well lit. In fact, I'll turn my F7 back on again so I can see when stuff's not lit. Good, good. All right, let's work our way back up again. Uh, up. Let me up. Water streams. Let me up. 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 Okay. Okay. That there. Right. Next. Can I get up? Yes, I can. Can I take care of this spider? Yes, I can. Go. Die. Alright. Let's see how bad it is. Is it infested? Uh... Not bad. It's not too bad in there. Ow. Ow. There's a skelly up there. Spider went for the skelly. Spider went for the skelly. I need to fight. I need to fight. Die. Okay, skelly. No, that's no good, is it? 
No! He's gonna kill me now. Yes, I knew it. I should. I was trying to get into a place where I could eat. I was trying to get into a place where I could eat. Uh, Soulbound bow. See, I told you I'd need this. I told you I'd need it. Let's get the torches. All right. So, uh, I'm gonna head back in there now. Okay, you get. Give me all my stuff back. Did give him a chance to despawn while I was here though. And get it all back. Nice. Okay. Are we safe now? Are we good? Let's put those on. Let's put those on. And are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Yes, I think we are. Okay. Uh, let's have the axe down here. And the pick. And that. Good, good. And I got plenty of oranges. Okay. So, your big mean is. Let's see about locking this off here. Block it off, block it off, block it off. Wait, hey, there we go. All right, there we are. Got ya. Got ya. Got ya. Die. At least the skelly died as well. That's gone. Must have deep spawned. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've got ya. You're not, you're not going anywhere. And the solidified XP mod. <laughs> solidified XP mod is pretty epic for catching all the XP we want. Okay, I need to I need to get a torch on in there. That might have secured them. Uh, put you up there. Can I put you there? There we go. All right, let's block this off even further. Whoa. Okay, zombie. Zombie with a boot. You are dangerous, dangerous undead beastie. Zombie with a boot. Okay. Oh, we are still spawning them in there. Okay, so it's not over yet. It ain't over yet. Let's, uh... Ow! Getcha! Out of my face. I'm not gonna die here again, am I? No. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Let's eat it. Let's get some regen on. Okay. And then... Put that there. Okay. Alrighty. So. If I hack this out, I've got access to you, but you don't... You're not supposed to have access to me. Okay. Well, they can get through that gap then. Okay, fine. There. Die. Zombie. You can't, though, can you? I can get to you. Right, now, let's just eat up and get in quick. That's a zombie. Get off. There. Should be good enough now, shouldn't it? And head out quickly and make sure this bit's sorted out. It is. Okay. Now, zombie, have some of this. I got shield. And it's saving my life. Boom. Boom. Gotcha. Alrighty. So, we have conquered. We have we came, we saw, we conquered. Alright, that's good. So now, we've got a zombie spawner. We've got another zombie spawner. We've got two zombie spawners, but that one looks like it's got zombies with enchanted armor and stuff on. And we've got two spider spawners. So, okay, no skelly spawner. I was hoping for a skelly spawner as well, but I'm also glad we didn't actually get any skellies. And we've got lots of things in here. We've got a lexica, that takes some time to sort out. We've got the box of eternal closure and a scoop. Uh, well, I'm sure all of that is very useful in Evilcraft. We will work on something like that later on. But really, just apple and a bit of jungle wood in here. It feels like someone's already been here, but obviously they can't have been here yet because they would have lit it up properly, wouldn't they? Uh, but anyway, let us get right in the centre here. Uh, eat up before I do anything else, just so I'm regening. And then set a marker, a waypoint, here. As evil spawners. There we go. Save that close. Alrighty. So, with that in place, 
now I can see on the surface up there whereabouts that comes out and see if that is somebody's property or not right now. Uh, so let me head up to the surface and sort that out. Where did I get into this place? Oh, and that way, wasn't it? Yeah. So I can go down here, out, out of it, can't I? Uh-huh. Did I leave that unlit? I guess I did. Okay. Well, I'll soon sort this out. Well, looky here. Isn't that conveniently placed? It's right next door to my warehouse, obviously, because that's where I found it. But it is in an unclaimed area. An unclaimed little mound here. Nobody has claimed it. Uh, Brink's just over there. It's very, very close to mine. So that's probably why no one's claimed it since. Uh, but it is it is right here, which means that we can do something around this area to have another building at spawn That uh, can be a mob farm XP farm type thing very close to that and I can kind of work a road in around the two That would be cool wouldn't it? I like the idea of that. Uh, I may make it so that the spawners come up this way though So that this is the front of the building and then it's in keeping with where mine is and keeps that kind of like a central square around where other people have got their bases. So, yeah, I guess all of the digging now needs to commence. Okay. So I could be dead very quickly. I don't know if I'm going to die here. Um, I've set it up so that the spawners have plenty of space to spawn. They're all going to fall into water. The water's going to push them down into this. And once they get into here, they're going to get pushed through in the water streams. Uh, there's the occasional spot that isn't covered. But if a zombie... If a zombie gets in this spot, then soon enough a spider or another zombie will push them into the water chain and push them through into the next bit. Uh, spiders, of course, will try and climb the wall. But then they will fall back down eventually and they will go in as well. So it's very inefficient right now. But we've got a water elevator coming up here. And then all the mobs will have to come towards this area. Now we can just squeeze through here. You can't normally walk through them, can you? But I can. I, can. I don't know how I can, but I can. And I guess that could be a problem if I have zombies that can get through that gap as well. Um, but I've also got a wooden killing machine in here that is from progressive automation just for now because that was cheap and i wanted to see they're probably going to get pushed into this corner mostly and therefore this will kill them if they do so it's still experimental right now uh, but <laughs> but i've got a good start and now for the derps to see how bad it's going to be see if it's going to be as bad as it could be I'm going to put a door on here. I'm going to put a block there. I'm going to put a door on there. And put a block there. Just in case I have any problems, I can kind of at least retreat out through the door and lock it. And then block it and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's see. Let's see how bad this can be. All right. so first of all, my issue is getting rid of all of the torches uh, like that torch for a start so that they can start spawning without falling into the mob farm myself I can get out of the mob farm myself if I do get swept into it but I could die any way shape or form which does not leave me with hope I would like to be able to fly that would be nice if I could fly then this would be a lot easier to manage uh, get up here get up here get that off okay we're gonna work on it we're gonna work on it now obviously the death and everything makes it more interesting which is why I'm recording it um, because I could potentially die but I really I really want to like find a way to do it without dying and without having to come back in here and get all of the torches back on oh he's going oh there's a villager one awesome <laughs> I don't actually want a villager one, but that is awesome still. Uh, right, let's... I, I, I could really do with having a place up here that turns the lights back on again. Well, I've got a few going through. So, let us try and get out of here. Get out, thank you. Okay. So, the door is facing inward, so there's nowhere for them to step in order to open the door or bang on the door. 
So there's a few there. That's good. We've got a few going, so it, it's not going to be unmanageable. Yeah, a few, a few are spawning of both types, so I just want to see how they're getting on. See, that one there got stuck, but then he soon got pushed by the next one. That's okay. And he's getting killed by the killer. This is good. This is good, but they can't seem to get through. Oh, they can. Okay, they can. They can, they can, they can. Okay, okay, I'll take it back. They can. Fine. So, if I... Um, if I block this off somehow... Uh, how am I going to block this to make it harder for them to get through? Uh, let's put... Let's put another one of these here. So they can't jump over that. Let's kill these off. Die. 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 Right, and then block that off there. Okay. So now I can get all the loot drops by coming in here, but they can't kill me. And I can get in here and swipe them. Swipe them. It's not the best, is it? It's not the best. But it's a start. I can hit down there. I can hit... Whoa. They can hit me there. Okay. It's, it's not the best start, but it is a start. I'm getting experience. I'm getting mob drops. I'm getting all the things. Uh, and we'll see what's going on here as well. And the killer's already out of power. Doesn't take a lot of power at all to put that out of power. But I can still swipe at them and sort them all out. I guess that's all we got time for this episode, though, because I've been doing a fair bit. You can see the, the basics in place of what I've decided to do. And the next thing is to refine it. Refine it and make it much better. But for right now, I can, uh, I can still get XP and level up and get a few bits. Well, leather, for instance. I can get tons of leather. I can get these zombie chunks and spider eyes and, uh, yeah, all the other bits and pieces that we need. Uh, what I'm looking for, really, is a looting thing. I need to get a looting sword so I can loot them a bit better. But at least we know for now that it is working, it is successful, and I've got an XP farm. Where's the XP going? Is that all going down the side there? Where is my XP? Why am I not getting the XP? the XP coming to me? I don't feel like the XP is coming to me. Aha! Is this eating XP? Might be eating XP. wonder where the XP goes if it doesn't come straight into me. Take it. Give me my XP. Okay, if I get rid of that and then put that in its place that definitely protects me and then I can dig down here a little bit and get down to their feet level they can still hit me but I can smack them a lot easier and I can swipe with a sword oh yes hmm definitely need a better system but it's work in progress. It's good. And so I've made some modifications. Made a few modifications. I put cobblestone walls there. So it's actually higher than the mobs can get through. So even baby zombies get stuck on the half half step up. Stopping the water coming out. So all the water pushes all of the drops and the XP into the player. And we can swipe with our swords easily enough. Now, this is not the be-all and end-all yet. Still a lot of swipes getting through a lot of swords. Uh, so I think I'm going to take them all up a lot higher and then drop them down into a similar sort of setup. But drop them down so that they've taken full damage. Um, but there's still more to do. It's all very vanilla. I've still got to add a little bit of modded Minecraft into it, to be honest. Um, but I've lit it back up. I need to do a lighting up above and all that kind of stuff. But for right now, that is going to be it for today's episode. So, you can't really get a good shot of me and the spawners at the same time. Can we kind of get it in there? Nope, that's my face. So I'll do my outro from here instead.
Right, so that is it for today's episode. Now, at the start of the episode, I realised that I've said there were going to be a little discussion on three reasons why I'm not going into some mods. Three reasons. And I didn't discuss them at all. I got completely carried away with the spawner. Um, the, the short of it is, uh, one, I can't do everything because modded Minecraft may update to a new version again, in which case the mod pack may upgrade to a new version and the server may upgrade to a new version could be any reasons why the series gets cut short so i can't do everything number two is there's lots of people on the server all of them are trying to make content and i don't want to be doing something someone else is doing a lot of so you can go and watch their videos instead of mine for that i will do something unique something in my style, something the way I want to do it. And I don't want to be treading on any toes trying to do all the same stuff that everyone else is doing. And number three, I'm really trying to just find a nice balance between trying to get through the mod pack and do all the things which a lot of YouTubers try and do uh, and actually enjoying building and creating and designing and making something that functions not just making all of the items in JEI just for the sake of making all the items in JEI I may as well do tutorials if I was going to do that and I don't do very good tutorials so three reasons why not now I could talk about them at length but that's it for today's episode thank you very much for tuning in I will see you very soon for some more and we'll update this spawner then until next time then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.